Hi everybody, I'm here in Hawaii on the beautiful North Shore. As you can see, that's pipeline right behind us. I'm not out there because I'm doing an interview with all you lovely people at Network A. Anyway, I'm Laura, season one is finished and I'm so stoked that you all loved it and thank you so much for all the kind comments and all the love and support. Um, it was a crazy year, but it's such a good one and I can't wait for many more adventures. Anyway, I have a few questions that you all sent in and I'll just answer them. Joanne Luganwell asked, I loved your series so much. How did you manage to motivate yourself when you were at the bottom at the beginning of the year? Um, I think at the beginning of the year, I was just a bit lost and um, I was just kind of more so struggling with myself. I don't know, rather than the actual competitions, if that makes sense. It was like, I wasn't just losing in heats. I was just like, so not myself. And that's what really made me upset. So I think I just had to focus on myself and the little things in life and just, and that's where really everything just turned around and um, just trusting myself again. Like when I started trusting myself again, I just felt like I was back and a new human pretty much. So yeah, trust does amazing things. Next question is from Yvonne Tran. She asked, as a huge fan of women's surfing, I'm stoked to see Lowers a part of the WCT next season. If you had authority to add more events, where would they be? I can speak on behalf of every girl on the top 17 that we're so, so excited to have Lowers next year. And also Fiji, that got added too. So we're all just, we can't wait for 2014. So it's really exciting. But if we had to have an event somewhere else, it'd definitely be here in Hawaii. Uh, we had events here back in the day, but not for the last like four years, so it'd be amazing to have an event back here again. Ariane Cossette Civitella asked, Hi Laura, I really like your series. Do you think it's more competitive on the women's side or the men's side in the world of surfing? I think it's, it's hard to compare the competitiveness of women's and men's. I mean, there's only 17 girls on the women's world tour, so we'll find ourselves like matching up against the same, same girls in most heats, but I think at the end of the day, in, in every sport, people have different levels of competitiveness and I mean, there's some people that winning is everything and I don't know, if, for me, I try to do my best in every contest and I really want to try win a contest next year and work hard for that, but I think they're both equally as competitive as each other. David Friesen asked, poverty in the world is a massive issue. If there was one way that you could use surfing to help the less fortunate of the world, how would you do it and what would you do? I think as surfers, we travel to so many places in the world and we see a lot of third world countries and how poverty affects families, children, just communities and it's really sad but I mean as long as everyone just gets together and gets involved in organisations and charities and, and all those people that are pushing right now and just get behind them and help sort of drive and just help in any way they can. I mean there's so many different organisations out there to help whether it's, um, I mean, poverty or clean drinking water or um, even depression and anxiety and like children's helpline, things like that, that just, all of that matters and uh, everyone deserves to be seen and helped, I think. So get behind the charity and make a difference. Sarah Edwards asked, what are you looking forward to the most in 2014? What aren't I looking forward to in 2014? It's been amazing and I've learnt so much this year and I just, I can't wait to take everything that I've learned from this year and just make next year just amazing. And I've been working hard and training hard and just, I don't know, just having fun and experiencing and just living and most of all, being happy because that's all that matters really. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys and can't wait for next year and for all the adventures to come. So come on for the ride. See you soon.